The world needs EWTN. Now more than ever, we need you. To help support Mother Angelica's mission, go to EWTN.com and click Donate. Or send your donation to EWTN, 5817 Old Leeds Road, Irondale, Alabama, 35210. If I might pose a question to the senior senator from California. Um, hey, I haven't seen you around in a while. What's new? What's new? EWTN's everywhere. It's true. I'm listening. Well, you can watch EWTN's great Catholic programming on your TV, listen on your car radio, or get EWTN on the go using the EWTN app on any mobile device. I keep my ear to the ground for news. Oh, EWTN's got that all covered with the National Catholic Register, EWTN News Nightly, online with CNA, the Catholic News Agency, or the world over with Raymond Arroyo. In fact, he's right over there. Wow. EWTN really is everywhere. Oh, sorry, 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 sorry. Hey, haven't seen you in a while. What's new? What's new? Jesus said, go and make disciples of all nations. Mother Angelica and EWTN have passionately responded to this call. We've made it our mission to proclaim Christ and his church to the world through the media. That effectively makes all of us in the EWTN family media missionaries. We invite you to unite with us in this great commission. And that's exactly what it is, a commission, one that can only succeed if we work together as a family if you're like me, and you've been touched spiritually by Mother's mission for EWTN, here is your chance now to touch others in your life. As an EWTN media missionary, you can reach out to your parish community, Catholic organizations, or just your family and your friends by making them aware of what EWTN has meant to you in your faith walk. Check out our Media Missionary website and see the many different ways you can use your God-given talents to help Mother Angelica and EWTN spread the light of hope in a dark world. So what are you waiting for? Log on and click sign up to register. Join us today in sharing the eternal word with the world. Mexican government, during the persecution, any religious act was condemned by the law. If they didn't fight in that time, we wouldn't have the churches open. We forget what our grandparents did for our faith. They were risking their lives. They were normal people, and they were called to uh, participate in the defense of their faith, and they willingly said yes to that call. One of the stimulating things of making the decision film was that, first of all, I, didn't, I knew nothing about the, the Cristiada. It's time to set the record straight. This great new movie, The Greater Glory, uh, tells the record in a very historically accurate way. For Greater Glory, here on EWTN. The favorite part of my vocation is when I see the Holy Spirit at work. I hear the stories of people who have come back. I see their tears. I see how their family's overjoyed. And that does nothing but send me to, to the moon. I mean, it's fantastic. I love seeing how people's lives can completely change when they're docile to the Holy Spirit and He works in their lives. Happened in my life, it's happened in so many others. That's the most exciting thing about my vocation. And I thank God for it. Witness the Holy Spirit at work in the lives of returning Catholics in a new episode of Catholics Come Home, Sunday at 9 p.m. Eastern on EWTN. Jesus said, apart from me, you can do nothing. He didn't say you could do most things for the rest of his prayer. He said, nothing. And if I could add to his words, apart from other people, we can do nothing. We need God and we need others for everything. Think about something as simple as your cranberry sauce on Thanksgiving. 
From the sun and rain that grew the cranberries, to the farmers that harvested them, to the trucks that drove them to the canning plants, to a massive fuel industry that fueled those trucks, to your local supermarket, to every businessman and businesswoman who put their lives in a line to run all those different businesses, you probably relied on tens of thousands of people for that one side dish. We need God and we need the skill and charity of others for everything. And we need to remember that. You see, because when we forget that, we tend to become arrogant. And when we remember, we tend to become grateful and humble and generous with others. And that, my friends, is a recipe for happiness.